and I don't sell vendors anymore so I really could care less so I'm giving you guys free sauce okay I'm giving you the free free sauce okay so Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenneth Renee. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I made my first $1,000 off of selling hoodies and how I started my clothing brand, everything that I did, all the steps that I took, the process that I took, the L's that I took, everything like that. Also, I am going to give you guys a free vendor. Now, disclaimer, this is not my personal vendor, but this is a vendor that I heard a few people have used and a few people have really been successful with. I've even been looking at them a little bit, but this is not the vendor that I personally use for my hoodies right now. But it is a popular vendor that a lot of people do use. So I am going to give you guys this vendor for the free 99, okay? I'm gonna give you guys this vendor for free. I don't sell vendors no more, so I really don't care. I will give you all the sauce, okay? So if you guys are interested in knowing how to start your own clothing brand, then please keep watching this video and this does not just go for hoodies this can go for a boutique this can go for t-shirts this can go for joggers this can go for whatever that you're trying to sell i'm going to give you guys everything that you need to know to make your first a thousand dollars selling clothes so if you want to know then just keep on watching this video but i'm a little thirsty to get my drink on so if you guys don't know, if you guys do know, if you guys don't know, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Kenneth Renee, full-time entrepreneur, full-time YouTuber, and full-time pretty boss bitch. That's my title. <laughs> but no, for real, um, if you guys don't know, I do have a clothing line right now. I have a business called Renee Society where I basically sell entrepreneur essentials. My target audience is geared towards female entrepreneurs that are trying to better their lives, that are trying to overcome their obstacles to become better entrepreneurs, better women, and everything like that. So, I do sell these hoodies that say, turn my depression into deposits. So this is a sweatshirt, but this is basically what the hoodie looks like just without the hood. Um, but this is a sweatshirt, and it says, turn my depression into deposits, and that is what's on my hoodies right now. I currently sell them in black, and I currently sell them in like this tannish, brownish color, so it's exactly as a, this color right here. Um, and right now, I am getting ready to launch my second product, which is the journals. Term. It is called A Future Millionaire's Thoughts. These journals are not out yet. Um, a lot of you guys be DMing me, asking me when these are going to drop. They're going to drop real soon, y'all. I promise. Make sure to follow my Instagram so you guys know the details. So, Lo, it's all about the hoodies, though. Let's talk about the hoodies. So, when I first had this idea to start my hoodies and to start my clothing line, the first thing that I thought of before I even thought of a name, before I even thought of anything, was my target audience. And I know that y'all are tired of hearing that shit. Target audience this. Target audience that. Target audience, target audience, target audience, target audience. But <laughs> it is the truth, y'all. You have to know your target audience before you start any type of business because who are you talking to? Who are you selling these products to? Everybody cannot relate to this phrase. Everybody may not be able to relate to this phrase. Everybody may not be able to wear your clothes. Everybody may not like club clothes, street wear. Everybody is not into the same thing. So you have to think about who is your target audience. Who are these clothes for? Who gonna be wearing these clothes? Who gonna be rocking these clothes? Who gonna be spending a hard earned bread, dinero, cash, money on your shit? Who? <laughs> so the first way to figure out your target audience, and I think I've said this in a couple of videos, honestly, but the first way to figure out your target audience is to build an avatar. So I always tell people to build an avatar. I don't know if you guys have ever played The Sims back in the day, but back in the day we used to have a game called The Sims. I don't know how old everybody is. But back in the day we had a game called The Sims where you basically build a person. You, I think everybody should know what The Sims are. But anyway, The Sims is where you build a person and you basically create their entire lives. You create their likes. You create their dislikes. You create their dreams, their aspirations. You create their looks. What are they into? What do they dislike? What are they what, what what are their values? What's important to them? What's not important to them? That is what you need to do. You need to create a person. Like think of it as like creating a Sims character or just creating your ideal customer. If you could have a customer that will shop with your brand, who would that customer be? And I feel like we 
we really overthink target audience so much like we really be sitting here like oh my god I just don't know like this is just so frustrating like just i don't know y'all know that meme of bambi where it'd be like this is so frustrating that's y'all that's literally y'all when y'all cannot figure out <laughs> your target audience like that's that's how y'all are and it's i promise y'all it is not as hard as everybody makes it seem it's important as everybody makes it seem but it's not as hard as everybody makes it seem you literally just need to take time get a, a notebook a journal anything and just write out who is your target audience who do you feel like would benefit the most from your product or your service or who would benefit the most from what it is that you're selling my thing is entrepreneurs so I initially created my brand geared towards entrepreneurs that are overcoming obstacles or entrepreneurs that started a business from from nothing I mean started a business from being in a negative situation like they may have came from an abusive relationship they may have came from um, an abusive home toxic family toxic situation depression things like that and they took that sadness and they turned it into a business kind of like me I was going through depression heavy a couple of years ago um, I was in a toxic relationship living with a very toxic person sad every day and I took my pain and I turned it into a business I took my struggles and I turned it into a business I turned my sadness and I turned it into a business I turned my depression into deposits and that's my story and I felt like other entrepreneurs could relate to coming from a struggle you know maybe you were homeless and you were depressed and you were sad or maybe you lost someone close to you and it just made you close up and what made you come out of your shell or what made you come out and finally be who you are is starting your business or you put your put the energy that you had into that depression that sadness that anger and you put it into starting a business you see how I just kind of described to y'all who is my target audience or who is the type of person that I'm targeting that is the same with you you have to really get deep into what it is that you are trying to figure out with your target audience and I kind of related it back to me now you don't always have to relate it back to you but I kind of related it back to me because I was going through that same thing like I told y'all I was going through depression heavy um, living with a person that I shouldn't have been living with in a relationship that I shouldn't have been in and it just made me depressed it made me feel the lowest of the low of myself and instead of feeling sorry for myself I picked that ass up and I turned it into some money so that is what depression to deposits meant to me and I felt like other people could relate to the same thing which inspired the clothing line so y'all target audience is not as hard as it seems but that is the first thing when it comes to your business is target audience and I know I don't spend so much on target audience but that is the truth because you have to know who it is that you're selling to and this goes for a boutique hoodies pants whatever it is that you're trying to sell so the next thing after you figure out your target audience is you need to figure out if you're selling hoodies you need to figure out what it is that you're going to put on the hoodies or what it is that you're going to sell with the hoodies now I told you my story um, was depression to deposit so once you figure out what you want to put on your hoodies the next thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that the name or the phrase that you're putting on your hoodies is not trademarked so if it's not trademarked and it's something really really unique and something that you know will probably blow up then you definitely need to go trademark it asap so before i even launched my hoodies before i even told anybody about the idea i went to trademark this phrase and the reason why i went to trademark this phrase before i even started because i know a lot of people say wait till you sell a little bit and then go trademark it and blah. it's because this is some turn my depression to deposits was so rare of a phrase i was like yeah i feel like as soon as i say something somebody gonna go put this shit on a shirt like asap and i'm be like nope ain't nobody about to make no coin off the shit that came off the top of my head mind y'all i got depression to deposits because this that's dead ass my story like this is not no funny shit this is not no phrase this is not no haha no kiki like this was really my life like that's really me and i was like i don't want nobody to make no money off my life story <laughs> so i was like i went to go trademark it quick so if you know it's something 
something that's really personal to you like depression deposits is personal to me I don't want nobody making no money off my shit so if you know that this is something very personal to you or you know that this is a phrase that you feel like people are gonna be quick to steal or if it's something so unique like you've never heard anything like it go trademark ASAP and I actually have a video where I talk about where I trademarks my own business so if you do not have the funds to go spend five to ten thousand dollars on a trademark attorney you can go on the internet and do it yourself please don't let nobody tell you that you cannot because you can sis so I will link that video down below so you guys can go check that video out after watching this one I'm getting thirsty and tell anybody before I had my trademark already in process now if you already have the trademark in process then you can start telling people but if you don't have nothing in place yet do not go start telling people your ideas because somebody will come out the woodwork especially if you are sitting on a million dollar idea make sure that you protect your brand before you do anything especially with clothing because these Chinese vendors they will be quick to take your stuff and try to go sell it too you never know so you don't want nobody to get rich or make money off of your phrase especially if it's something personal to you and it has a message behind it another thing is if it is a personal thing that has a message behind it make sure to express your message so me and I keep relating this back to me because I don't know anything else <laughs> but me mine was depression to deposits and every time that I do some type of campaign or some type of when I do a campaign or some type of content, I always try to fit my story somewhere in there because this is something near and dear to me. This is something real to me. So I always try to fit it in there. Always tell your story, especially if it's something that's very personal to you. Go and tell your story. Go and tell your story within your content. Tell your story within your content, your campaigns. Like, tell your story. People will connect with your story. People will connect with the story over the products. And then once they connect to the story, then they'll buy the products because they'll feel some type of attachment to not just the products, but just the person that's selling the products and the brand. They'll feel a per connection to the brand because they'll be like, oh, this, this person really relates to me, you know? And it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to just get on Instagram, tell your story, and oh my God, I done made all this money. Like, mm -mm. you may have to tell that story a couple of times so it can stick in people's heads. You know, it's not going to be an overnight process, but it can definitely be done if you stay consistent. And I know that it sounds so cliche to say stay consistent, stay consistent, because even I have some chimes hard time staying consistent but consistency is super key when you are trying to get something off of the ground so always make sure to tell your story within your content now you don't got to keep repeating it over and over again but tell your story in different ways because people relate to things in different ways you can tell it through a reel you can do an IGTV you can do a commercial you can do a carousel and help people through it so like for example for me i have turned my depression to deposits and a lot of people may not know how to turn their depression into deposits so within my uh within my business and within my instagram and within even these youtube videos i will talk about how i turned my depression into deposits i will talk about my story how i did it how i got out of my depression how i overcame it because a lot of people may not know how to do what i did or a lot of people may be trying to figure out what i did because i remember i went to the store um one day and i was going to pick up my food and this girl and i had on my hoodie and she was like oh my gosh that um that's what i'm trying to do right now in my life and mind you she walked up to me and then she just was saying i'm like what the hell is she talking about but then i forgot what i was wearing <laughs> I forgot what I was wearing. I was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah, I've been going through it. I'm trying to turn my depression to deposits. And I was like, she was like, I could really relate to that phrase because that's what I'm doing right now. And so I gave her my Instagram and I told her to cop a hoodie. I don't know if she copped it because, you know, I get so many orders. I don't, really don't remember her name. She probably copped it. But listen, people can relate to your story. You just got to tell it. You know what I'm saying? Tell it in different ways. Tell it on different platforms. But you got to connect with your audience first. Definitely build a connection with your audience. Tell your story. Not every... Don't... On every post, don't be like, shop now, shop now. In stock, in stock. Hurry up and grab this before I go. We shipping out right now. Da, 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 da. Don't do that on every post. Do not do that on every post. Um, that will get irritating and annoying. Don't do that on every post. Tell a story on every post. 
tell some type of story or tell you know help somebody give some advice give words of encouragement on your captions instead of just always putting shop now shop now shop now shop now like people don't like being sold to you got to talk to people like i always say you're selling to humans you're not selling to robots people do not want to be sold to all the time people sometimes want to be talked to like a human being people want to be talked to like they're loved like they care you know like they're cared about people don't want to be sold to all the time stop always trying to sell to somebody stop trying to always sell and really try to connect with people thing that you want to do is to get influencers so when you are looking for influencers here's a few things that you need to look for number one do not look at the follower count let me say this again do not look at the follower count you see my eyes don't look at the follower count okay don't just look at the follower count you need to look at the engagement look at the engagement look at their audience look at the type of people that's commenting under their stuff the people that's liking their stuff the people that follow them is that your audience is are these the people you're trying to appeal to if it is then go ahead and inquire promo um i'm gonna give you guys a few pages i know spiritual word i'm gonna leave the link down below spiritual world word it's not world spiritual word they are doing really a really good promo deal right now um because i just inquired about them so y'all might see me, you y'all might see me y'all might see my business on their page but i'm gonna leave their link i'm gonna leave their instagram down below i think they're doing a really good promo special right now they have one promo package that's under a thousand dollars so if you guys they have a good pretty good audience so you guys of course check them out see if they're the audience for you but they get really good engagement and um they're really good um i don't really know too many influencers yet i'm still looking through the influencer list myself um but you want to make sure that the influencer has the following that you're looking for before you pay them the money and then you want to make sure that they're honest people like you want to make sure that they do the promo for your business so for example i sell hoodies i'm not going to send my hoodie to a girl that's always half naked on the internet like that's not the that's not who i'm sending it to i'm not going to send it to a girl that lives in miami that's always half naked on the internet because she's not going to either number one she's not going to wear it or number two her followers are going to know that it's promo because they're going to be like okay girl all of a sudden you always wearing you always wearing lingerie half naked on the internet now all of a sudden you got on a hoodie yeah this is promo you know what i'm saying you want to make sure that it doesn't look like promo now if you if you wear if you sell swimsuits or something then that was she would be the perfect girl for you but if you are if you sell hoodies and stuff like that then she ain't she ain't she not the one for you she's not the one for you she's not she's not the one for you <laughs> she her bitch she's not the one for you you want to make sure that that influencer has done a promo or wears the type of clothes that you are trying to sell um another thing is you want to make sure that of course that they have they do good business you want to make sure that they do good business and really you just want to make sure that they have the followers that they have for you um in the same way and then don't go broke trying to get an influencer like for example if you're trying to get jada and you can't pay jada prices then go talk to one of jada friends <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like okay if jada if you're trying to get jada to promo for you and jada's promo is too high then you can always try to get one of Jada friends or something to see if their promo is a little cheaper. You can't have Jada, but you can have the next best thing. <laughs> so you want to, you know, definitely, definitely try that out. Definitely see how that works for you. And it's not even just that. If you want to try to, one thing that I've also learned as well is that you can do brand ambassadors. So I just recently picked a few brand ambassadors for my business and I'm gonna tell you guys how brand ambassadors work. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys how to pick the best brand ambassadors. When you wanna pick brand ambassadors, you wanna pick somebody that has a decent amount of following. So at least let them have maybe like a thousand to 5,000 followers. Because if they have like 50K and up or 100K and up, they may be charging. So you wanna, if you want to get some brand ambassadors you need to get somebody that has a decent amount of following maybe like 10,000 5,000 20,000 or something like that another thing is is that you want to 
make sure that they're photogenic so you don't want to send your clothes to somebody that is not photogenic that doesn't take good photos like I mean they might be pretty but they don't take good photos they wouldn't know how to take good photos in your stuff you want to make sure that they take good photos and you also want to make sure that they get a decent amount of likes so if I look at your page and you only get like 10 15 likes per picture and no comments your audience isn't engaged they're not going to give a fuck what you got on you know what i'm saying you want to get you want to get the girl or you want to get the guy that like that post pictures and like people are commenting on their stuff oh girl you look cute or oh you working out or something like that they get at least maybe like five ten comments under their stuff you know people are commenting which means that their audience is engaged with them and their audience actually cares because some people have a following but their audience doesn't engage or liking their stuff because either they're shadow banned or they just really don't care about what they got going on so you want to be very careful when picking brand ambassadors and when you pick a brand ambassador make them fill out a contract so do not just send out free clothes make them fill out a contract i've actually had some girls who I it, it's crazy because when I was doing my brand ambassador search I actually weeded out the girls that was finna finesse me because I was like okay you say you want to be a brand ambassador cool here's a contract fill out your name and fill out some information and then make sure that you agree to these terms and conditions at the end of this form and sign your name so we have a mutual agreement and they was not trying to sign it because they just wanted free clothes they didn't want to be serious so you want to make sure that you go and you make them fill out a form so you can weed out the ones that's going to finesse you and really get the girls that's actually going to help you out so i make mine on job form job form i have them fill out a brand ambassador promo form um just filling out their name their email address everything like that that i need and then i have a terms of condition at the end that they read that basically states that you know if you don't we're not going to work with you anymore um you're agreeing to do this this and this and you want to make sure you have conditions so say um i need you to take pictures in these clothes within two weeks after receiving it in the mail um i need this 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 i need this amount of pictures i need you to post this i need you to do this by clicking agree and signing your name you are agreeing that you understand these terms and conditions you need to make that shit specify make it specify and make it no okay make it specified and make it known that you what you want them to do are they gonna play you and if they play you it's up for them so yeah that's about it with brand ambassadors and influencers and lastly of course you always want to make sure that you have brand colors you always want to have a website do not be we do not do dm tours almost 2022 2022 will be here in a whole week and you telling me that you still you still ain't got no website talking about some dm to order no ma'am get a fucking website <laughs> i'm not playing with you i ain't playing with you miss mamas get a website i'm not playing with you get a website i'm not playing with you no more get a website okay and that is pretty much it um my favorite oh my favorite website to use is shopify i love shopify for anything e-commerce get that ass off of wix shopify all day period and so how to make your t-shirt design so i always make mine on adobe illustrator because adobe illustrator is better for print um adobe photoshop is better for web anything that you're doing on web you always make sure that you make everything on adobe illustrator when it comes to anything that you're printing so a t-shirt design anything like that i always suggest to use adobe illustrator for everything and even the vendors are going to tell you to use adobe okay so what i started with when i started selling my hoodies is that i started with sizes small medium large and extra large so i started with four sizes and i got like four of each so four smalls four mediums four larges four extra larges and that's where i kind of fucked up at because i should have gotten 2x 2xl so when you start your clothing line always make sure to get small medium large extra large and 2xl 3xl is optional if you want to but i don't really have a lot of requests for 2x for 3xl so i just go up to 2xl then if i get a lot of 3xl requests i'll add it but make sure you go up to 2xl and i would just say get four of each my vendor doesn't have an moq i don't think this vendor has an moq either that i'm going to give you guys but make sure that you at least start with four or five of each size just to see how they go and then when you start selling out then 
keep adding and keep adding and keep adding but I say start with four of each size three to four of each size just to see how they sell because I started out like that and I think I'm on my like third or fourth restock and I just keep adding and adding and adding as I go what you guys have been waiting for do 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 is the free vendor <laughs> okay so I'm going to leave their information down below but I'm going to tell you guys this vendor now this vendor is very popular when I was looking for a t-shirt vendor I bought a few vendors lists I'm not gonna lie to you I bought a few vendors lists and this vendor was on here but I ended up finding another vendor and this vendor is called Apparel Island. I'm actually going to screen record it so you guys can see who they are. So this is the vendor here. They're called Apparel's Island MFG. That probably means manufacturer. <laughs> um, so this is them. They make hoodies. They make bubble stuff. They make all this stuff like that. This is... um. A pretty good vendor a lot of people do use this vendor I'm not gonna say exactly who uses this vendor because I don't want them to get mad if I call them out or whatever but um, this is the vendor I think they're based in Pakistan I think Pakistan or yeah I think it's Pakistan that they're based out of um, but they they look like they have really good material so you guys go check them out and this is a vendor I'm giving you guys for the free 99 okay I don't sell vendors anymore so I really could care less so I'm giving you guys free sauce okay I'm giving you the free free sauce okay so this is the vendor here so you guys kind of already can see what they got going on you guys can already see like they make custom stuff so yeah so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys learned something. This motherfucker is long. So if you made it to the end, you stuck out. But I will see you guys in my next video.